Good morning and welcome to our Beads Virtual Open Morning. I am Annie Fuller and I'm Head of Junior Years, that's Years 1, 2 and 3. And this is Sophie Barmer and she is a Year 1 form teacher. Um, we are, Junior Years are based in the Hollywell building, which is a, um, a soft a nurturing environment for the children. And that's alongside the nursery and preschool and reception. And um, one of the, the things that's really important for junior years is those transition moves. So the move, the important moves are from reception into year one and for year three, moving on into the prep school in year four. And those are managed really carefully. Um, and we have uh, transition days at the end of the year, but also um, for year three, that's a really large step. And so they are um, coming into the prep school building throughout the year while they're in year three, having lessons in this building with their specialist teachers. Um, another really important fact for um, easing that transition is communication with parents. And our community, we pride ourselves, Beads prides themselves on our communication with parents. And this can be through various channels. Um, one of which which we are tri trialling is with um, Year One and they are using the app called ClassList. Perhaps Sophie you could explain a bit about that. Yeah, thank you Annie. So ClassList is an app um, that is only available to the parents that are logged in and it's a way that the teachers can upload photos, comments, anecdotes from the day um, and it just really assists with parents communicating with their own children and with the school so they, they can follow what they're doing and, and how they can help them at home. Especially uh, at the moment when parents aren't allowed into the buildings, we found that this is a really good way of bridging that gap between home and school. So I'll pass back to Annie. Um, our building, the Hollywell building and the prep school, we're um, really blessed with this beautiful location. We are right on the south coast, right by the beach and also by the South Downs National Park. So we take advantage of that and we have um, regular lessons, beach school lessons on the beach where children are having lessons related to their curriculum and, and then we can do also visits to the South Downs National Park. Um, Sophie, perhaps you'd like to explain a little bit about um, the other lessons that years one and two have yes. phonics. So one of the um, real advantages um, that in year one and two is that we have a discrete structured phonics lesson every single day um, and it's a real basis and fundamental um, start for spelling and reading and that discrete time every single day just really gives the children the best start in those areas. Um, I'll also discuss with you a little bit about our creative curriculum. So uh, in years one and two, our topics are theme based. So for example, at the moment, our topic is called A World of Difference. Uh, and in that topic, we can cover our geography and the world around us. We can cover some historical moments in the world. We can cover some religious celebrations. Um, and we can really cover all areas of the curriculum uh, under the, the arching title. In year three, it's slightly different where the, the topics um, are biased towards the history and geography, but still uh, lots of lessons are incorporated within it. And um, we have some questions from prospective parents. The first question, will my child just be taught by one teacher? Sophie, would you mind answering this one? Yeah, so um, in years one, two and three, the majority of the lessons are um, taken by the child's form teacher and a dedicated TA. Um, in, in year one and year two, some of the lessons, uh, for example, sports, dance, swimming, uh, music and French, I don't think I've forgotten any, um, are taught by specialist subjects, uh, by specialist teachers, sorry. And in year three, art is also included in the list, but the majority of lessons are by the, by the form teacher. And the other question we have is, can you tell me how the school day works? So the structure of the school day, um, the children are registered at 8.25am and then their first lesson starts at 8.40. 
and they have three breaks throughout the day. There's a morning break, a lunch break and then an afternoon break. And the school day for years one and two finishes at 3.50 p.m. And for um, year three, it's 4.20 p.m. And then there's also, um, Beats has a really good wraparound care. So we have a breakfast club, which starts at 7.45 a.m. And then the children are looked after while they have breakfast and, and then taken to their classrooms ready for registration. And at the end of the day, there is um, a late stay facility for years one and two, which includes supper and um, children can remain in school until six o'clock. And then for the year threes and above, then they are able to uh, do activities. There's a variety, huge variety of activities, after school activities. Um, and the children then finish that at 5.20. So um, for parents who are, um, have uh, work commitments, um, BEADS can provide that wraparound care for them at the beginning of the day and the end of the day. Um, and they know, parents know that children are safe and in a learning environment. Um, and so that's the answer to our, um, our second question. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to hear from some Year 4 pupils about their experience in Year 3. Thank you very much for listening and um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Thank you. Hello and um, would you introduce yourselves please? My name is Lily and my class is 4 women. My name is Seb and my class is 4 women. Lovely. I'd like to um, ask you some questions about being at Beads. What do you most enjoy about being here? I enjoy everything, especially our fun activities and lessons. I enjoy Beads because it makes me feel welcome and there are loads of different opportunities to choose from. And um, talking about subjects, what are your favourite subjects and why? My favourite subject is maths because I love solving all the challenges. I also like English because I love descriptive writing and my teacher makes every lesson really interesting. I, my favourite subject is um, topic because it, get, it links a lot of subjects together like science and English. Our topic at the moment is seashore and learning about learning science with rocks in the seashore helps and English links because you get to do creative answers. Wow that sounds lovely, so lovely interesting lessons and subjects. Um, and what about co-curricular activities, so after school activities, what sort of things do you like there and, and why? My favourite activity is cookery because you you get to make delicious meals and sometimes yummy treats. My favourite activity is cricket because I have the opportunity to get wickets and um, bat with different people that I don't know. Yeah, sounds good. Sounds like a lot of a huge variety of activities. And um, thinking back, achievements that you've you've had. What what are you most proud of? Well, last year I got the most points in my section and won the maths prize. My favourite achievement was everything and getting the science prize last year. That's fantastic. You must be very proud. And so thinking about last year, when you were in year three, what was it like and how did it prepare you for going to moving into year four? Year three was amazing. We got to have French music, art and drama lessons in the main school and that helped me find my way around the main building. Um, I think year three to year four was the main thing that helped was moving up day and the teachers did not expect us to be able to do year four work straight away. That's super. Thank you very much for answering the questions and it sounds like you're having a great time in year four and uh, you should be very proud of what you've achieved. So well done.
Thank you.